to Body Check. I am Katie Kopaitic, as you know. Um, this class is going to be a body weight, uh, a long form warm up that's going to progressively warm you up, literally. It'll feel like exercise. And then we'll finish with a little strength set. It's all body weight, and there are many different ways to. Uh, scale back the exercises that you're doing depending on where you're at right now. Um, if you want any feedback on your form, obviously, uh, show your video so that I can see what you're doing, but you're also welcome to stay uh, behind your privacy, fine. Um, if anything feels weird at any point, you can ask me a question or you could stop or you could do something different. If there's like if we're doing um, a plank or a push up and you need to modify it, I'll remind you to modify it periodically. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to start with a uh, simple stretch, like just a bunch of stretches on the floor. So you'll want to go to your mat or just your comfortable spot. And we're going to do some neck circles uh, in the Sphinx pose. So your elbows are by your rib cage, hands are together, and you're just doing three circles in each direction. And once you've done three in each direction, you're going to lie on your side, kind of as if you're sitting in a chair. Your arms can be uh, wherever for right now. We're going to be moving the top leg. So we're going to do six circles with your top leg. Think about moving from the side of your hip. Like that's where you're lifting and lowering from. Your knee is bent at a nice 90 degree angle. Once you've done six going forward, we're going to do six traveling backward. And once you have six in each direction, we're going to work on the top arm. So the arm that's here, and we're gonna do six big arm circles. Keep your elbows straight, rotate out as you move behind you. And once you've done six, switch directions. And now we're going to switch sides. So lying on the side that you just moved, starting with the top leg again, six hip circles. Take your time with these. If you need to catch up, you can always do it. I'll give a couple seconds buffer at the end of uh, each round. And six forward, keeping your ankle flexed, your knee at a 90 degree angle, if you can. And now with the arms. And six in the other direction. Great. 
I'll give everyone a chance to finish up. And I will uh, Okay. Great. So once you have your six arm rolls, we're going to go into child's pose for some rocking back and forth. So your knees are splayed, your ankles are bent or flexed. We're going to rock back and then we're going to rock forward five times. Pretty simple. Try to prevent your lower back from arching when you come forward. Think about engaging your stomach muscles when you get to here. Once you have five going forward, you're going to place your left hand on top of your right. So you get a nice stretch in your side body. And then you're going to rock forward again. You should be feeling a stretch through the left side of your rib cage. And once you have five here, we're going to place right hand over left, feeling a stretch in your right side body. And we're gonna do five rocking back and forth here. This is a really favorite stretch of mine. And once you have five there, we're going to do one last part in this position. We're going to do some hip circles. So think about rocking your, okay, your <laughs> hips over top of your right hand. So you're rocking in a circle. It's all very, 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 um, you don't, you wouldn't want a stranger to see you doing this exercise necessarily, but it feels really good. Once you have five, five in that direction, circle around towards the right. Okay. How's everyone doing? Very nice. Good. The wider your knees in this position, the uh, sort of deeper you can sink into your hips. So that's a good way of scaling back the stretch if you need to or deepening it. And once you've done five circles in each direction, we're gonna switch to tabletop to do T-spine reaches. So your hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. You're gonna thread your left arm between your right arm and right leg. Twist, look at the hand, and then we're gonna come up. Follow your left hand with your eyes, reach all the way up to the ceiling. Another nice side stretch. One, and we're doing six of these. Two, three, four, five, and once you've done six, you can switch directions. What are you doing with your hips as you are reaching up? Are you trying to keep them square or are they like shifting to one side or the other? Try to, try to keep them square. We wanna keep the stretch in your thoracic spine. So from here to here, keeping the left body cool. stable. Thank you. You're very welcome. And once you've done six there, you can go and uh, hang out in a seated position. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna move on to our next little mini set. We're going to do egg rolls and, and um, planks. So the egg roll is pretty simple. You're gonna grab behind your knee and you're gonna roll back. And then you're gonna try to roll all the way forward without hesitation. If you need assistance, you can grab a little weight to hold, a can of beans or something. You could hold it in front of you. But the whole idea is we're just generating momentum in the back and rolling forward. It's also a good uh, 
back massage, like a self, it's like a self massage and it's a good stretch for your lower back. So we're gonna do about 30 seconds of egg roll and then we're going to do a regular plank with two 20 second intervals. So that means we'll be here, we'll go to 20, we'll rest for 10, we'll go to 20 again, and then we'll repeat with the egg roll. So let me grab my timer. All right. So we're starting with the egg roll, hands behind your knees, and begin. Good, try to keep your body as compact as you can. Nice. I like that I just see Josh and Kat's feet coming up in a little, a little wave. 10 more seconds. And rest. So now we're coming up for the plank. You can do this one, elbows down. Or if it's a little easier, you need an adjustment while you're doing it, you can always uh, set your knees down or go into straight arms. So elbows down, we're gonna start our plank in five seconds, 20 seconds and then rest and go. In three, two, one, rest. And then we'll do one more set of 20 seconds. Going in three, two, one. And five, four, three, two, one, rest. Short break, and then we're starting again with the egg roll. All right, getting ready to go. Hands behind your knees, rolling back, and begin. About 10 more seconds. And rest, switching to the planks one more time. Getting ready to go in 10 seconds. And three, two, one, up. And rest. Sorry, I let that go a few seconds longer. Yeah. And three, two, one, up. 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Great, short break, get a little water. We are gonna make our way to standing now. So I am going to adjust you. Should be good. 
No. Okay. Can you all hear me okay if I'm this far away? Okay, great. So the first uh, part, this is another two-parter. Monica's here, it's up. totally fine. <laughs> the first part of the two-parter exercise is going to be a little coordination, pretty simple coordination movement drill. It's going to start with a toe touch and a hip hinge. So you're trying to keep your back kind of straight. Toe touch, then you're gonna bend your knees, bring your butt down into a squat. You're going to release your hands, reach up to the ceiling, and then you're going to stand. At the top, you're going to step on your tiptoes. So that's the balance challenge. Again, we're going toe touch, butt down, look up, arms up, stand, tiptoes. Everybody got it? Cool, and then the second exercise in this mini set is going to be what's called a pendulum lunge. So your right leg's moving, and if at any point this is, you feel a little too wobbly, just take your time to go through the steps. So you don't have to force yourself to be super fluid at first. The right leg's working, it's going to step back first, and you are going to bring your arms to the left, and then that right leg is going to step forward, and you're gonna bring your arms to the right. So I'll face you guys and do it. So right leg goes back, arms go to the left, right leg comes forward, arms go to the right. Yes, yes, great, awesome. Okay, so we're starting with the toe touchies. We're gonna go 30 seconds, um, sorry, 40 seconds for this one, 20 seconds rest, and then for the lunges, we'll do 30 seconds on each side, 20 seconds rest. We are repeating that twice, so two of each. All right, starting with the toe touch. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. So hands down to your toes, sink your butt, arms up, and stand on the toes. Wonderful, great. If this at any point feels like, oh, you wanna make it a little bit harder, you're always welcome to close your eyes. Um, it's not, not easy. 15 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Short break, and then we're starting the pendulum lunge. So again, take it slow, feel your balance. Right leg is working in this first round. And begin. So right leg steps back, arms go to the left. Right leg steps forward, arms go to the right. Right leg steps back, arms go to the left. Right leg steps forward, arms go to the right. Take your time. The purpose of this one is to activate your blood flow, obviously, but it's also to give you a good healthy stretch, so there's no rush. And stop, we're gonna switch to the left leg now. Going in five seconds. And again, left leg goes back, arms go to the right, left leg goes forward, arms go to the left, and repeat. We've got 10 more seconds here. And rest. Great, we're gonna take a little break and start back up with the toe touch salutations. All right. 
We'll start in about 30 seconds. Okay, getting ready. And begin. Touching the toes, sink your hips, arms up, tiptoes. As you touch your toes, see how far you can bring your butt back before you start to um, curve your back. So see how much you can hit, push your hips back into like deadlift position until you need to curve. Ten more seconds. And rest. We're going to take 20 seconds before we switch back to the pendulum lunge, lunge starting with your right leg. All right, in three, two, one, right leg goes back, arms go to the left. Right leg comes forward, arms go to the right. Rinse and repeat. If you have limited space, you can do this in two steps, where you take a step back, you can adjust your feet, and take a step forward. Always feel free to adjust according to what makes sense for you and your environment. Five more seconds. And rest. Switching to the left leg. All right, and begin. Left leg goes back, arms go to the right. As you're doing this, be mindful of where your knee is tracking. You want it to stay over top of your ankle. Always be aware of crossing in too much. That's very bad for your knee and your ankle. About 10 seconds. And three, two, one and rest. Good, we have one last mini thing before we move on to the strength portion. That's going to be just some uh, single leg hopping. So if you have any ankle issues, there's a few different ways to do this. One, the obvious is just the hop. The other one is either a static hold where you don't do anything, or you could um, you could do like I guess hmm, you know that or uh, I'm sorry. So you can do the hop, you can do a hold, or you can just do like a heel, a smaller heel raise. So you're not actually lifting your foot entirely off the ground, but you are engaging that leg. So we are going to do. Uh, 30 seconds on each leg, two times through, with rest in between each uh, hippity hoppity. Okie dokie. So, everybody good? Great. So, we're going to get started in three, two, one. Oh, sorry, right leg starts. In three, two, one, you are either hopping, you're either balancing, or you're either lifting and lowering your ankle. Stay springy in your knee, stay springy in your hip. We wanna be loose, but obviously engaged enough so that we're not falling over. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, check that out. Left side is next. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. Feel free to add a little 
jig with your arms. The spirit moves you. All right, in three, two, one, hop it on the left. Either hop, raise your heel, or just stand for balance. We have 10 more seconds. In three, two, and one. We're gonna take 30 seconds rest here. And we'll do this one more time. Oh, it's so much harder than it looks. And we will have a little water break after this, FYI. <clears throat> Okay, going in five seconds. And let's go. Bouncing is acceptable if you get tired. 10 more seconds. And stop, shake it out. Whew. Going in five seconds, left side, last round, and begin. Fifteen more seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. And rest. Shake out your leg. And before I release everybody, I want to invite you to just do a quick downward dog wherever you are to stretch out your calves. So like this, and you can sort of wiggle your heels to stretch your calves out. Okay, so everybody grab some water. We're gonna take a minute or two to reset, have a little break. Alrighty. So the next uh, set is going to be our strength set. We're doing two, two exercises and we're gonna do this four times through. So it'll feel a little bit, well, it'll either feel long or it won't, who knows. Um, the first exercise is your choice between a split squat and a regular squat. So the split squat is a more challenging option. In it, your feet are staggered. So your, for example, 
your right leg will go in front, your left leg in back. You stay where you are and you go down and up without moving, without stepping. And the same goes for the other side, left leg in front, right foot in back. The second option is just a regular squat. So just feet apart, facing out, knees go out as you come up. Now the kicker to this exercise is that I'm going to be feeding you a tempo. So you're gonna go down as in three, two, one, and then you'll come up three, two, one. So I advise, um, don't look at other people's videos while you're doing this because I'm guessing the lag will vary um, from my microphone to your computer. So just wherever, whenever my voice comes in, follow that. Um, and so we are going to do eight of those three, two, ones on each side. And then the second activity in the set is going to be a plain push up, however you want to do it. So you can have your knees on the ground. You can push up um, on a bench or your couch or against the wall. You can, um, if you have any problems like with pressure down this way, if you have a weight or something, you can lie on your back and do a press. If none of that works, you can also fold over slightly and just bring your arms out into a sort of uh, like a Y, um, gosh, I don't know what trainers call this these days, a Y press, a Y press, let's, we'll call it that. So you can just bend over, straighten out your arms and pulse upwards. So that's a good alternative if you have any kind of shoulder, elbow issues. Um, so the split squats or the regular squats are going to be eight on each side, as I said, and the push-ups is a time-based thing. You have 40 seconds to do as many as you want or as little as you want. That's totally up to you because I don't, I don't know where you guys are with push-ups, so I can't tell you how many to do. Just do what feels right. And then we'll take 20 seconds rest and we repeat. We might do, actually, I think we'll do three rounds. So I wanna make a little time at the end for a cool down. Okay, so starting with the split squats, or regular squat, if you do the regular squat, you'll just do two rounds of it. Split squat will do right foot in front first, left foot in front first. Okay, so right foot in front. I am counting down in three, two, one, begin. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Three, two, one, three, two, two, three, two, one, three, two, three, three, two, one, three, two, four, three, two, one, three, two, five, three, two, one, three, two, six, three, two, one, three, two, seven. Three, two, one, three, two, eight. Shake it out. Left foot in front. I realize counting down to the start is a little confusing. So I'm going to say, ready, set, go. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, two. Three, two, one. Three, two, three. Three, two, one. Three, two, four. Three, two, one. Three, two, five. Three, two, one. Three, two, six. Three, two, one. Three, two, seven. Three, two, one, three, two, eight. Wonderful. So now it's our push up slash slash rest block. So find a place. Push ups, if you do them regularly, 
I advise your reps to be somewhere between six and eight. And if you haven't done push-ups in a really long time or you don't do them often, then as many as you can. Try three or four or five. All right, so for 40 seconds, as many push-ups as you feel like doing and begin. And when you're done, whatever you feel like doing, however many you feel like doing, you can just rest. We have about five more seconds. And rest. We're going to take a full minute before we begin the next round. So you have time to grab some water, do a flash pee if you have to. All right, about 20 seconds or so until we begin. All right, here we go. Right side in front, right leg in front, left leg in back, squatting if you need a little break. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, two, three, two, one, three, two, three, three, two, one, three, two, four, three, two, one, three, two, five, three, two, one, three, two, six, three, two, one, three, two, seven, three, two, one, three, two, eight. And rest, shake out your right leg and your left leg too. And getting ready, left foot in front, right leg in back. Ready, set. Begin, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, two, three, two, one, three, two, three, three, two, one, three, two, four, three, two, one, three, two, five, three, two, one, Three, two, six. Three, two, one. Three, two, seven. Three, two, one. Three, two, eight. Wonderful. Little break. Getting ready for your push up round. Gonna go in 10 seconds. Finding any place on the floor or wall or bench. And begin. Push ups on your own time. Ten more seconds here. And rest. 
minute break and then one more round. If anybody's mad about this set, just know that there's a little mosquito punishing me. Okay. Going in 20 seconds. I learned this exercise from my friend whose classes I've been taking. And when I was doing it, I was very much uh, cross with her because it was so hard. Okie dokie. So getting ready, last time through, right foot in front. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, two. Three, two, one. Three, two, three. Three, two, one. Three, two, four. Three, two, one. Three, two, five. Three, two, one. Three, two, six. Three, two, one. Three, two, seven. Three, two, one. Three, two, eight. Great, switching sides. Left foot in front. We'll go in 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, two. Three, two, one. Three, two, three. Three, two, one, three, two, four. Three, two, one, three, two, five. Three, two, one, three, two, six. Three, two, one, three, two, seven. Three, two, one, three, two, eight. Shake it out. Final thing. Just the little push-ups. We're going about 10 seconds. All right. And begin your push-ups. On your own time. About 20 seconds left. And you may rest. Um, I just also dropped my Venmo in the chat. If you are enjoying this, you can send me your tips. We're gonna finish with a quick little ab set and then a stretchy stretch. So back to your mats or your floor space, wherever you are. Let's first just start by doing nothing. So you can hug your knees to your chest if you want, go side to side, literally. You may splat as well, that feels good. We'll just take a couple breaths here. <sighs> nice exhale. All right. So this last thing is called a dead bug. You're going to bend your legs so that your knees are 90 degree angles. Knees. Okay. One second. Okay, Jesus. One, just a second. Keep doing nothing. Doing nothing. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so knees and ankles, 90 degree angles. Arms are facing, uh, your palms can be facing any direction really, but your elbows are straight, that's important. What we're gonna do is we're going to extend our right leg and lower our left arm at the same time, trying not to move any part of the other side, and then just bring it back. We're gonna stick to one side at a time for now, and then we'll switch to the other side. So we're gonna do, uh, hmm, we'll do 10 reps on each side, three times through. Okay, so going in, uh -huh, three, two, one, and begin. So your right arm and your left leg are working. Trying not to move your opposite leg and arm. They will be tempted to move. Once you've done 10, you can just wait. Few more seconds. And now switching sides. So your left leg is extending forward and your right arm is going back. Wait, I'm sorry, your right leg is extending forward, your left arm is going back. Keep pressing your lower back against the floor, especially when you extend. Try to counteract the urge to arch your back. A few more seconds here. Good, and finish up those reps. We're gonna take a breath, and then begin again. All right, let's do this. Right leg goes out. Wait, no, we just did that. Sorry, left leg goes out, right arm goes back, and go. 10 10 ish reps. And switch sides on your own time, 10-ish. Not a huge deal if you don't get to 10. Also not a huge deal if you feel like doing more. Good, and rest when you finish this round. One final round. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay. Oh, what was it? Yes. Left leg out, right leg down. And let's go. 10 inch reps. Right arm goes back, left leg extends, pressing your lower back into the floor. and switch sides, 10-ish reps, left arm goes back, right leg extends. And wrap up your number whenever you can. You may splat on the ground. Bring your knees to your chest. Fold them over to one side. Look over the opposite shoulder. So if your knees go to your right, you're looking towards your left. Take a deep breath here. And exhale. As you exhale, bringing your knees back up to your chest. Rolling over to the opposite side. 
and looking over your shoulder. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Very good. That is all that I have for you this evening. Um, thank you guys so much for signing up. It's really nice to see you all. Thank you. Oh, yay. yay. This is fun. Oh, man. Missed you.